Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahd in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful text portrait effect using Elementor page builder. You can create this type of text portrait effect from any black and white images like this. So from this black and white image to this text portrait image and then you can use it on anywhere of your website where it makes sense. I will show you how to do it using Elementor page builder so without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. To take a new section let's first click on this plus icon and I'm taking this structure. Now let's make its height to minimum height and I'm setting its height to 100 VH. Also I'm making its background color to pure black color like this. Now here inside this middle column let's click on this plus icon and here I'm dragging an image widget. Let's make its alignment to centered. Now here I'm uploading the image. So choose the image. And you will get the image download link in the description. So from here I'm selecting Elon Musk image. Now click on insert media. Now go under the style tab. First I'm making its width to 90% and let's make its height to 600 pixel. And from here object fit I'm making it to cover. Alright now go under advanced tab and from here open the positioning. First I'm making the position to absolute then from here the vertical orientation as we have selected this image's height as 600 pixel so i want to make here the offset value to half of that 600 pixel and of course it would be a negative value so it would be minus 300 pixel now you can see it's now vertically centered if we set our images a height to 400 pixel then we need to set the offset here minus 200 pixel you get the idea right and now I just want to duplicate this image widget. So from here, let's duplicate this image. Now you may not see, but there are two images, one above another. To check it, if we right click here and click on navigator, then here you can see there are two images. This one is the back image. That's basically our main image. And here, this one is our front image. Now I will be replacing this image with a text layer image. So from here select it. I'm selecting this text overlay image. Now click on insert media. Let's now go to its advanced tab and from here open the custom CSS field. By the way custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I will put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through my affiliate link you don't have to pay any extra but I will get a little credit for that. That will help me to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this. Now inside this custom CSS field we need to write a very simple line of CSS but if you hate to write CSS code by yourself then you can just go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will put this pages link in the description as well. From that page here under mix blend CSS just copy this CSS snippet go inside Elementor and paste the CSS snippet here and boom here we go. Now if you wanna play with it more then you just need to select this back image the first one I'm selecting it go under its style tab and from here if you open the CSS filters now from here you can play with this brightness and contrast like if we increase the brightness you see it's changing like this also you can decrease it you can play with this until you are happy I'm keeping it 120. Also you can play with the contrast from here like this you can decrease it or increase it but I want to keep it as 120 pixel. Alright let's now close the navigator and if you wonder if it's responsive or not it's 100 responsive because it's just an image but only to confirm you if we go to responsive mode you see it's looking great on desktop also it's looking great on tablet and it's looking perfect on mobile device. Alright so when you are happy with it just click on this green update button to save your work. I hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this youtube channel. And if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com I will try my best to help you personally. Once again thank you so much for watching this tutorial I will see you in the next video. For now bye bye.